people are still uh, trying to understand the different cultures and different places and many things are related to the stars which we all share the same thing but uh, interpret in different ways understanding different stories means actually understanding the people's emotion what people actually think about Imilo is really about our innate desire as human beings to constantly explore and learn and make new discoveries and new landfalls about ourselves and about the world that we live in. This Imilo collaborative started with an interest to bring together our stories and connections to the night sky from our different communities, our different cultures, and to learn across the globe how different peoples connect to the night sky. We have many representatives from countries like China, Japan, Canada, USA, India. We realize that if we talk about the sky and if we look at the popular aspects of it, then they are all kind of based on uh, one kind of mythology. However, each country has their own stories, has their own perceptions, has their own lovely connections to the sky. And this is something which should not be missing. First, we listed out all the stories that are there, that are part of our culture. And there are some overlaps also, which was, nice, which was nice to know. And that there are some connections about these sky stories as well. And there are some commonalities. Finding commonalities between people with such diverse backgrounds and ways of looking at the world meant that we each had to sometimes step outside our comfort zone and really listen to what others were saying isn't always the easiest process. One of the innovations of this project is to tell stories that work as both short segments and also as a longer piece. So all of the shorts are designed to stand on their own or they're designed to fit together with two different storylines. One is about patterns, about looking up into the sky and finding patterns. And we focus on a part of the sky that's familiar to cultures around the world, so we thought it would be a good launching point for sharing different perspectives. Even though we were attached and connected by these stars, we still had stories that were telling different things and different aspects of the knowledge. The other theme that we chose was around tool building. The sky can also be used for navigation. And then of course, we can build tools to observe the sky. We wanted to show that there were still people across the world who were putting in their efforts to make these accurate measurements, to build tools good enough to uh, fathom these mysteries. As we present these planetarium shows in planetariums all around the world, and the viewers see that there are different cultural approaches to astronomy, what it helps people to understand is that that diversity brings us different perspectives through which we can view things. We need the next generation to, that enters science to be open-minded, to have all the tools that they need to feel like they have a place in science. And if it helps some of the young scientists to find their path to astronomy, that for me would be the best from this project. One of the things that the short shows do incredibly well is to show that people have applied their creativity, imagination, and thoughtfulness to the sky for generations. Cultural and indigenous astronomy is an ongoing and active practice of looking at the sky, and it helps us connect to the generations of people who looked at the sky prior to us and to connect with people around the world who look at the sky along with us. Codified in different languages and in different cultures are unique facets of the cosmos that perhaps don't exist anywhere else but are truly unique to that part of the world and so to to share that out and to have other peoples learn about how other peoples connect to the cosmos just adds to the the vibrancy and the depth of our world and the many perspectives represented therein to the cosmos.